It's not family. Peace. It's your brother Koo. Um, real quick, I just wanted to share um, some of the experiences gone through throughout this past week, getting certain processes done. Um, one of them being uh, an injunction. So I've learned a lot through this process, right? So the confusion, right? A lot of people get get confused is, is differentiating between the state facilities and federal facilities because remember now federal is dealing with treaties so being nationals non-citizen nationals to be very exact um, we are uh, how would I say this Const federally protected we're federally protected meaning we're protected by treaty or covenant so within every state there is a district court now you know early in my years of study I thought district court was part of the corporate you know what I'm saying and dealing with the county you know you're dealing with the Supreme Court um, highest law of the land not far which is very true you're still dealing with the county in terms of the recorder's office which is mainly just for recording documents now when it comes to cases and suing people um, under federal jurisdiction which is dealing with constitution and treaties then you want to take them up in district court and in the district court buildings you will nine times out of ten find the supreme or the superior court of the particular uh, state territory where you domicile so everything you need to do dealing with treaties and constitutional violations you need to deal with the district court now funny thing is being that we're talking about constitution and treaties black people can't initiate district court black people can only initiate um, inferior courts right because remember we're dealing with the highest law of the land supreme law of the land so it's kind of it's funny but it's really not at the same time it's kind of sad actually to once you comprehend that black people cannot um, black people cannot utilize federal court so this is why now why a lot of these cases dealing with um, you know like Eric Gardner um, rice you know they they got thrown out they didn't go to supreme court because black people cannot go to supreme court black people cannot deal with constitution and treaties they can't deal with anything federal however they can put federal um punishments on your ass if you violate federal crimes or um, if you violate the federal law or the federal constitution so it's just it's just that was very eye-opening for me because it gave me a lot of clarity on like what what and who's who and you know when you file your injunction in district court in the supreme court um you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to get some certified copies because you're gonna have to notify the um parties you know what i'm saying and understanding that the governor is literally like the president of every state corporation you know what I'm saying? So anytime you're dealing with the state, you want to deal with the head. And the head of every state is the governor. So the governor is the one you want to go after in terms of obligations. Because the governor is the one who has an obligation to the Constitution. Especially the federal Constitution that's there in place to protect the natives from the state. So that the state doesn't interfere in the dealings of the natives who were here prior to the creation of the so-called states. That's the job of federal, because remember, we're dealing with treaties, diversity of citizenship, you know what I'm saying, Article 3, Section 2, all right, Article 3, Section 2, don't forget about Article 6, the treaties are the supreme law of the land, and so, due to that, this is why us as people, right, as Moors, we need to deal with the supreme law of the land, so we need to deal with district court, that's federal court. Do your research don't just believe what i'm saying okay and then um you know it was like i said it was a real nice experience man so i got to um you know filed it and everything filed the injunction and everything um it was a really simple process it's just kind of mind-boggling how simple it is but you really gotta study to just get yourself to that level of simple thinking but you know it's not as big as Unless you don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about, then I guess it would be a very stressful situation. But, you know, it was very, very um, enthralling. Um, 
not to mention that um once the process is done like i said we got our copies we notified all the heads of the state you know what i'm saying that um sunel is here that we're functioning under an ecclesiastical body politic and corporate as such um having our own constitution also deriving our power from the Moorish Science Temple of America, 1928, uh, filing number 1010-5905, as well as um, just tying ourselves back via the treaty, you know what I'm saying, to uh, peoples who were here prior to all these things that are in place today, modern, modernly in place today. So, <clears throat> one thing that's very crucial to know, too, um, Within every state, corporate state, there is an archbishop that is pretty much a deputy of the Pope, and they're put in place to oversee every district, meaning every ecclesiastical territory, because the United States is a religious corporation. It, too, is an ecclesiastical body politic and corporate, believe it or not. So everything that gets done to black people is in the name of religion. I know, believe it or not. So... With that being said, oh, and this was another grander, man. So one of the options, too, in federal courts, so you can deal with any type of issues you could think of in federal court. You know what I'm saying? Anything you could think of going down to foreclosure, going down to uh, suit, going down to criminal, uh, going down to civil. You know what I'm saying? But the things that stood out to me most is because, um, you know, I've always... Um, I've always um, encouraged that we should have our own courts, right? Because we have our own courts for soon now. And I, and I was always um, encouraging that, you know, we should all have our own courts so we can judge our own matters. We should not let foreigners judge our own situations. Well, Lord and behold, right there in federal court, guess what I found? As the options of things, you know, you're going down there for. So, of course, when I went down there, um, the clerk asked, you know, what are you here down? What are you here for today? I'm here to file an injunction. Once he, you know, gave out the options, that's one of the options, injunction. You got to read and find it. You know what I'm saying? So that the court knows what are you here for. But like I said, one of the options, and there was many options. One of the many options I found was one, a foreign subpoena, and two, a foreign judgment. Meaning, as a foreign state, right, you can have your own court and then file the judgment from your court in federal court. And have that relayed to the state. And if you have issues with one of your members and any state agency, you can send a foreign subpoena. So let's say a cop violates one of your nationals. You can send him a foreign subpoena or her a foreign subpoena to show up to your court on this date under your jurisdiction to be tried. If they don't show foreign judgment, whatever the cost for um, relief is. You see what I'm saying? But those options are there. So it's kind of like, whoa, Article 3, Section 2. Article 3, Section 2. Article 3, Section 2. It's in federal, y'all. So we need to get back to federal. You know, I think we done spent a glorious amount of time dealing with the states. I think we done got all the knowledge and information we need from the states. It's time to move on now and time to step it up. It's time to step it up to federal. So... This is where I'm at, and I'm just sharing, you know, what I've been learning along uh, along my journey. The information might be helpful. I know it's helpful to me. You know what I'm saying? So it's really, really um, amazing. I'm going to just have to say it's really amazing to just put things in place, man. And then, you know, you just kind of just see the process work itself out. Now, you done done the work. You done notified the man. So we... so. Um, me and my tribe, we notified the archbishop, we notified the governor, we notified the sheriff, um, also notified, um, the trustee company, um, in regards to the land and the estate, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, which we're domiciling, so, all these things, man, it's, it's, it's just so crazy to me, yo. It's just crazy. Like, it's not really that big of a process, but it's huge. But it's like when it happens, it's not like there's fireworks going off or like mass things happening. It's like it's quiet still. It's like no, as if nothing happened. 
And that's the most bugged out part about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's quiet. It's real quiet. And I like it. And I know some people are not going to be able to sleep comfortably for the next couple of weeks. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm perfectly okay with that. It's important to know how to write, uh, write your writs. You know what I'm saying? Once you learn how to write your writs, then you can truly express yourself as an L. And then you can be a bay. You know what I'm talking about? And, you know, that's just all I wanted to share uh, with the family. Just, you know what I'm saying, that process of just putting the injunction on file and also you know what I'm saying you want to send out the certified copy of the complaint and the injunction itself to um, parties like I said Archbishop um, the governor uh, the sheriff you know what I'm saying the local sheriff you want to notify them uh, um, and any other parties you may be dealing with you know what I'm saying um, but yo this injunction is incredible but like I said if you don't know what you're doing and you're doing things with, fraud, with fraudulent intent and purpose and it's not for securing love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice and equality for all, then you're going to find yourself in deep doo-doo because uh, ignorance of the law is no excuse and karma always has a funny way, a very, very funny way of coming back around. So that's why I don't really like to, like to mess with karma like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I let that be. So with that being said, I'm your brother. I'm just sharing what I've uh, been learning on my own particular journey. Islam, love and life, family. Peace.